Well, girls, yet again overshadowed boys at the Bangalore University Convocation today. It was a moment of joy for the students who walked on the stage to receive the gold medals while their parents watched in pride. The positive results of all exams this year so far have spelled good news for the education institutes in the state. Bangalore University handed out 66 gold medals to their undergraduate and postgraduate students at their 49th convocation felicitating its students for making it through with flying colours. And this time, yet again, the girls were a step ahead of boys. 38 of the gold medals were secured by girls, but it was the topper Noor Jahan's story that stood out, all because of her determination to succeed despite the hurdles she had to face. There is someone who's won six gold medals, and this is in chemistry at the Bangalore University level. We have with us Noor Jahan, a student who's done extraordinarily well coming from a rural area. Well, Noor Jahan, you've won six gold medals. How does it feel? What are the optionals in which you've won the gold medal? In chemistry, sir. I'm very happy today. I'm not getting words to speak. My teachers clarified all the doubts. Whenever I get, they suggested me so many books to read. So it's very easy to score. It is not that much difficult. Now what is your future now after your studies? It doesn't end here. What plans do you have? Do you want to get into research, academics or do you want to get into the corporate world? Sir, I want to do my PhD, sir. After that, uh, I wish to work as a professor. Noor John studied in a small town in Chikbalapur, about 90 kilometers from Bengaluru and travelled to the city every day to attend her classes. This was until she chose to move into the university's hostel. Coming from a family which survived from the income of a butcher shop run by her father, she took a break from studies to support them financially. But Noor John's urge to study was far from gone. She enrolled for a graduate course in science which led her to BU for her masters. After years of hard work and determination, she walked away with six gold medals along with a bright future ahead. While Noor John's success story has created quite an impression, other students were not left far behind. One such student was Anusha, a BA topper who had scored eight gold medals. Many might think that toppers are usually buried in books and do all the things academic to reach where they are. But Anusha opted for a more relaxed approach. She enjoyed every bit of studying and tackled her subjects with ease. I never kept any specific time for studies. I usually used to, you know, relate topics with my uh, syllabus. So that is how I, s I prepared for my exams. And even during my exams also, I uh, used to relax uh, by, uh, by doing uh, various breathing exercises and all. Actually, the Bishop, I studied in Bishop Cottons. So the environment in the college actually helped me to keep my mind peace. Okay, so I actually enjoyed studying there and I secured on the whole eight gold medals with first rank in BA. Other students too succeeded in their own ways. I won uh, four gold medals and two prizes. I topped uh, B in mechanical engineering. Uh, basically mechanical engineering was out of my interest. So I studied for knowledge always. So it was a good experience uh, to learn for knowledge and finally you end up getting something more. They are predictably headed towards a bright future and some of them have got some big plans ahead of them. Uh, in future, future goals, I want to be a uh, civil servant. So definitely I'm going to be a civil servant in two or three years. A generic goal or a, 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 a not a recent future, far future, I would uh, like to do something for the mankind. That is right now we have got theoretical knowledge and then do something of innovation to the mankind. That's my ultimate goal. Future plan is to do PhD in uh, space science because uh, I'm interested in uh, in remote sensing subject, uh, means in related to space. So my future plan is to do research in uh, ISRO or uh, uh, space science in Bangalore University uh, department. It was first the PU results which brought good news for the state as we set the highest record of pass percentage in the last seven years. This was followed by the SSLC students excelling in their exams. The pass percentage was the highest in the state in the past 10 years. This year, the students of BU have proved themselves with excellent results. Over 50,000 Bangalore University students made it through the exams this year, which of course, 33,674 were from undergrad and postgraduate courses. 846 students secured a distinction. By the current trend, looks like the students have put up a fight to secure the best seats in CET, which will only be revealed in the upcoming results. 
Pansi Kalapa for News 9, Bengaluru. A bunch of martial artists did the country proud in a competitive meet in Colombo. Take a look at their achievement. Sri Lanka played host to the 7th International Karate Championship in Colombo on the 18th of May and the grand event saw participants from India, Nepal, Bangladesh and the host country. A bunch of students from our very own city have made the country proud by emerging victorious. Battling through various rounds, these students from the Temple of Martial Arts in Bengaluru bagged a total of 16 gold and 6 silver medals in the competition. The event saw two kinds of competitions. One named kata, the Japanese term to describe forms of martial art poses and movements. The other was Kumite, the actual combat in which the participants from the age of 5 to 50 indulged in some hardcore kicks and punches. Battling through various rounds, all these students and trainers from the Temple of Martial Arts won medals. The backbone of the team was their trainer and coach, A.P. Nagendra Babu who is the Chief Karate Examiner and Technical Director of the Okinawan Shotokan Traditional Karate School. I feel very proud of my uh, students, parents and also my encouragers and also uh, Sri Lanka Karate Federation. They did daily uh, uh, one, one hour this one, uh, uh, form, uh, formal exercises and next, next one one hour is uh, uh, fighting exercise, uh, fighting uh, techniques, exercises and stamina exercises, physical fitness exercises like that. As soon as the winners landed in Bengaluru, they were greeted and felicitated in Shankar Mat by the area's ex-MLA Narendra Babu. Narendra Babu handed over mementos to the winners. I'm really proud of our uh, students and also teachers and the trainer and parents who have supported all along. Uh, to back the medal in the international level and held uh, the uh, tournament held at uh, Sri Lanka. They have all together they have bagged 16 gold and uh, and six silver. I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of our uh, youngsters and the children, and I wish them all the best. The participants are on cloud nine after their superb run in the tournament. We caught up with some of them. We had been we had been there on this uh, the last week Saturday Saturday night we, uh, Sunday morning we reached there actually and Sunday we had this uh, Katha and Kumite Katha is basically about the forms the it's like a lessons actually the patterns and the Kumite is about the sparring so they were uh, the army coach team and this uh, police team also had come so it was a tough competition for the kids actually these kids are practicing from two to three months heavily they are practicing. This was the main thing for them. All these summer holidays, they dedicated for this practice actually. So they, uh, even I was very surprised seeing them performing well over there, beating each and every participant whom they face. And it was a wonderful tournament. The participants of these kids too were a proud lot. In fact, they had sponsored their children to participate in the event. We are really proud of our achievements. My son's achievement is very good. It's a tremendous thing to represent the country and win a gold medal as well as a silver medal and all the money we have to pull in from our own pockets that's close to 38k to 40k uh, but still we are proud of it that we are, he has achieved it and we'll still promote him further ahead <laughs> whatever happens credit to the participants who with their hard work and dedication have brought laurels to the country deepak bopana for news 9 bengaluru with Nada Prabhu Kempe Gauda's birth anniversary round the corner, dissidence seems to be brewing among the ruling BJP members and BBMP. The reason being, seniors are allegedly ignored. Every year, BBMP celebrates Kempe Gauda anniversary with splendor and pomp. It is truly a big day for all the Bengalurians. The cooperators cutting across party lines take keen interest in preparations for that day. The ruling party does take all the members into confidence as far as devising the program plan is concerned. But this time around, the situation seems to be slightly different. 
The senior members of the ruling BJP itself are crying foul over being ignored. Ganga Bairaya, probably the senior most BJP leader in Palike, has alleged that the mayor has not made him a part of the preparations. We have to take a look at the summit. We have to take a look at the summit. We have to take a look at the summit. We have to take a look at the summit. गोतागिला नम्बर अदर इंदा नन्हे के यावत मार्ग तरीन तो लोग गोतिला ऐके न प्रति मेयर गली दागा जल्ला सीनियर से कर दो कैंपेन कोड जेंटी तैयारी दिस चीन द कर दो मीटिंग करी थी दो ये न दो समय दबाव न ना वो अवेलेबिलिटी गली लोग चुनाव ने दिस चीन द ना वेला सिगली लोग चलो सारी ना नंदुआरा ओरल गल but the mayor denies having ignored any member of the Palike. He said juniors have been given bigger responsibilities. He opined that seniors should voluntarily involve in the preparations. Nano apa, agu nano, ya no party leader agi dah, tuan nene salah natrak mayor agi dulu. Ah, awu dia ad nantara, nano nanti awu dia sebab guril lah. Atau yaro nana kerdil lah nana berana. BBM bilai, kari krama agtaya rata. But there is no denying that dissidence is brewing up among the ruling party leaders. Of course, it is difficult to keep everybody happy, but it is not the opposition members that are unhappy and discontent. The mayor may have to change his line of thinking to accommodate seniors in preparations plan for Kempegowda anniversary. Pramod for News 9, Bengaluru. They are usually seen at traffic signals or weddings asking for money. Well, today members of the transgender community were seen participating in their very first sports day. The Supreme Court's decision to include the marginalized transgender as the third gender was a milestone for them. Today they participated in various sports activities as a community. I'm so happy that after the Supreme Court verdict, like considering the th transgenders as third gender under the Constitution of India, and we are so happy to use this platform for sports, especially for transgenders under the Jiva organization. While kids of different age groups and even senior citizens enjoy any sporting event, today was the turn of the third gender. From playing badminton to throw ball, they were one step closer to normal activities than we come across in any society. Like for uh, relay race, or it could be for Coco, for badminton, for throw ball, or volleyball, etc. Like lots of transgenders are coming to uh, this platform to utilize this space and uh, of course to show our talents and skills that we are human beings with this skills and capacity. I think some of such events will be taking in near future with large and larger numbers. Organized in Dasarahalli, the event was put together by an organization called Jiva and the participants couldn't have been happier. They hope to come across more such inclusive events which could change their perception of being marginalized. Pavitra for News 9, Bengaluru.